Here's an actual piece of masonite. I don't want to drill a hole into the table. This is only a quarter inch thick, so it's not very thick, so you can't go through all the way, otherwise you'll just drive the screw through the surface of it. But uh, we go along the edge with this, and we go just like that. And we usually go about uh, six to eight inches apart, uh, depending on the size of the masonite. Masonite, actually, we go uh, on a four-foot side, we'll do uh, one in each corner, and then uh, two or three, uh, one in the middle, and then one more on each side. So that's actually uh, a little bit bigger than six to eight inches apart. But um, six to eight inches apart is standard for screwing a lid of a plywood uh, onto a platform. That's pretty standard for that. So we're just going to do six, in, six to eight inches here, just for the sake of a, you know, example. And then when you're driving the screws, usually you're going to use the one inch or the one and a quarter inch screws to attach your masonite to your platform. Through the, the wood. So you can kind of see that. Nice and flush. And you want that to be flush because you don't want shoes tripping on your uh, decking of your stage. If you're doing some stage combat or some sort of acrobatics or something that's a little more physical, you don't want your actors rolling around on the stage and getting torn up by drywall screw heads. So you need to get that screw below the surface of the masonite. There are several varieties of countersink bits that are made. And we use the ones like this one that has no pilot bit because it, with a pilot bit, you're more than likely going to break the pilot bit regularly. And your less, less experienced stagecraft students are going to break them more frequently. This is a type of countersink bit with a pilot bit. And these can get very delicate, especially the smaller ones, the thinner ones. And as you're drilling through your wood, any slight variation left or right can snap this bit. And we're also only going through quarter inch masonite largely when we're countersinking in theater. That's our most common countersinking application. These countersinking bits are designed and best used for countersinking into hardwood and finer projects when you need a cleaner countersunk hole. The pilot bit also drives a, drives a pilot hole while this part does the countersinking. These do have a hex key on them, so you can adjust them and you can slide this in and out if you don't want that much of a pilot hole being drilled into your stock. And they work the same as most other drill bits. That's a lot cleaner than the kind I will get with the type that we're doing in masonite. But we don't need the pilot hole in the masonite. We only need the countersink bit. So you can see the difference there. No pilot hole in the one without the pilot drill. Sometimes in the masonite, these without the pilot drill also wobble around a bit and create some variations in the edges. In theater, that doesn't really matter. In a fine woodworking project, you want to drill a very specific hole and you want it to be consistent and clean every time. Most of these bits that I've bought, they do have the shank where you can put them in the impact driver. There are different manufacturers and different models. This one is a little bit better quality. It's got a longer drill bit. It's got a tapered drill bit uh, for the pilot hole. It has four teeth on it. 
this one has just a pretty much a standard drill bit. It is a pilot drill bit. It's not, but it, but it doesn't have any taper to it. And it only has three teeth on it. They all do a good job. It uh, largely depends on what you want to spend your money on. The one with the shorter pilot bit did not drill a pilot hole all the way through my lumber. <laughs>